I think it's important to have a First Nations character in a mainstream game because Indigenous women especially are very underrepresentative in um, mainstream media and that's what we're um, hoping to, to change with this character. The creation of Thunderbird does have immense potential to bust on all those, all those negative stereotypes about even Indigenous women, Indigenous people. If there's anything that can help target an audience to become more interested in Nakoda community, it's probably technology. And Ubisoft is right in touch with the highest technology games. And, and something like this can have a really big impact on youth. And um, I'm excited to see the outcome of, of Thunderbird. Thunderbird was born in the Nakota Territories in Saskatchewan. Her civilian name is Nina Skye. She values her community and she's also a protector, whether it's of people, the community, or the land. We knew that we wanted this character to be a pilot, a helicopter pilot, but we didn't know exactly in which field she would be working. So I asked the consultants if they had any sort of feedback or information that they wanted to take into consideration when picking the work field in which this character would be working. I suggested that Thunderbird be a, a technical um, expert within hydrology because we believe as Nakoda people that water is life and that within that is the struggle of protecting and preserving the environment. When we started talking about weapons or, or tools that this character would have, we were kind of tossing around different names. I made a suggestion and say Nakota words as, as simply as possible, that Kona would be actually a good name because it means friend. Thunderbird's gadget is a little bit unique. She's gonna be our second operator who can raise the health of uh, their teammates. However, it can also heal your opponents. So Kona quite literally is a friend to everyone. A while ago, especially the Northern Nakoda tribes of the Great Plains, we tattooed our faces. And that's something that has been forgotten, um, even in our own histories. Uh, now it's something that we're starting to talk about, something that we want to bring back. That's what I wanted to see with this character was to grab someone's interest enough to want to go out there and find and, and do research of their own of who the Nakoda are, what are the Nakoda, am I a Nakoda, what's my language, what's my culture, what does this symbol mean? Thunderbird would not have existed without the input of Tarina, Jessica and Shayna. They honestly created this character from the ground up. We never really knew each other and we were so excited to talk about this character and we talked about water, we talked about her name and we talked about all of these things that, you know, that's going to represent a strong woman warrior. She's going to be representing, she's going to be carrying and, um, you know, that was, that was really what was cool about working with, with Ubisoft and this character. I consider that today, when we work in these sectors, in these mediums, it's our responsibility to offer a maximum of representation, to give the possibility to a maximum of people to be able to identify, to be able to dream, to be able to project through our content. And that's why we're going to push more and more the limits of diversity on our project. We're going to see a maximum of communities and of minorities and make sure that no matter who who has a desire to project, who has a desire to interact with Siege, can have a form of port of entry through a personage that he resembles. She is really bringing such an ancient, historic people into the present. I hope that honors her and all Indigenous women and all Indigenous people. I feel that uh, us consultants worked very carefully and respectfully to develop a character that would make Nakoda people proud this is something that's going to really impact with kids that are Nakoda. I might just, you know, purchase a, a, a game console and try it out myself. 